Arc 5, a series that had so much potential, a lot of the fandom called the first 50 episodes the best set of episodes in Yu-Gi-Oh! in terms of consistency. I have seen two episodes of Arc 5 thus far. I will say they are wonderful. Episode 1 of Arc 5 ranks number 2 on my list behind GX4 rating each episode 1 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series done by NES. Taking away nostalgia I have for GX and Duel Monsters, I will say Arc 5 passes GX in that point of view. You guys can hear my thoughts about episode 1 of Arc 5 along with all the other Yu-Gi-Oh! series down below. But Arc 5 did something very new which was bringing in characters from past series and altering their character personalities. Some people did enjoy the different versions of the original, which is fine, but many had their problems with this act, me being one of them. Even though I have yet to see these characters being altered, my problem with this is why change the way the characters act? I personally feel as if this is just bad to do. We have these characters from 5D's GX who had great moments, great development, and towards the end of the series, wrapping up, so does their character for the most part. Why alter the establishment these characters have? Hearing this, you probably know my stance on should legacy characters appear in Varenes and my answer is no. Due to what I stated and more things to come in this video, GX had legacy characters and references to Duel Monster characters as well as Duel Monster's plot etc. But the fact is GX is a sequel series to Duel Monsters. It takes 10 years after the ending of Duel Monsters or a Tim's departure. So it makes sense for characters to appear and it makes sense timeline wise. So should legacy characters appear in Varenes? No. As I said before it diminishes the development the characters have gotten. Yes you could say that this is a new series, a new chapter. In my eyes this is a new start for Yusaku Fujiki and the rest of the cast for Varenes. Not Jack Atlas, not Edo, Aster, Asuka, Alexis, and the legendary meme Crow. In addition to that, I personally believe that it's too much. Yu-Gi-Oh! does not do good with having a big cast. By the time you are watching this, we are around episode 5 for Varenes. The Go Onizuka introduction is about to wrap up and we'll get Aoi's introduction. As soon as that wraps up, I believe that we are going to get the main story for Varenes running. Varenes so far is about a cyber terrorist group known as the Knights of Hanoi that are after this AI program called Ignis and are trying to destroy this world called Cyverse which Ignis knows where Cyverse is. So how on earth are would they fit legacy characters in here without making sense? The only way I see this happening is with a well utilization of the VR aspect in Varenes, which I will do a separate video on, but these are my thoughts on if a legacy character should return in Varenes. Stay tuned for that other video guys, thank you very much for watching, check out the Facebook and Twitter fan page regarding Yu-Gi-Oh! Varenes, which will be linked down below in the description, and See you guys later.